Yeah, I've uh, actually made sure that my mic is on today, so it's a good start already. Speaking of good starts, I'm in a good mood to start this episode because we've actually racked up five wins in the league on the bounce. The Barrow train is truly off and rolling. Yes, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 21 Barrow career mode. Hope this all finds you very well. And we are doing very well. We are in form. We have qualified for the second round of the FA Cup by beating the Leighton Orient. There are games I have played off of camera, which we will obviously show you a high little highlights package for, hopefully, in this little bit. Uh, since the last time we met, then, just to clarify, we beat Grimsby 4-0. Very, very content with that. Uh, follow that up with a 2-1 win against Exeter, and the good form continue. I didn't play the Cup games. I simulated those, but we did get a very sort of semi-fortuitous 3-2 win against Morecambe last time out. And, I have to say, Zabana and North have both been in scintillating form in recent weeks. So hopefully they can continue that today. We're only going to have one or two games uh, live, depending on how long the highlights footage is. But it'll probably be two games, and they're going to be against Scunthorpe and against Mansfield, both in the league. It's a little bit of a change round, isn't it, from where we were? We were 19th in the last episode, now we're up to 5th. That's how tight the league is. We've got a goal difference of plus 1, but we have managed to somehow climb our way up to 5th, and we are only 7 points off of leaders Salford. So... Plenty to play for. And it will be the first team today. And like I said, players in particular have been in very good form. Include Wayne North, Zabana, Jenky Wenky's been good. Mikey Focus has come to the fore. Kalama has been excellent. Reese Crane on the right as well, delivering a lot of good work. Mathers doing a decent job in the midfield. Nutler has actually now been trained up as a left mid as well. I'm training him as a left mid so he can take over that position fully, which I think would be a really good addition to the squad. We finally started to turn Holker Street into a little bit of a fortress, and so we need to continue that form today. I am still prone, even though it's on Legendary, to having very tight games. We've only just kind of got through in our last two, in all fairness. Nothing's particularly spectacular, but I will not lie, and I have to say that the turnaround of this team has been absolutely phenomenal. Right, off we go then. Wayne kicks us off. First game of the day, of the two. Hopefully we'll get a good win, and we can carry on our decent form. Good play here by Mathers, and I can tell where this is going already. Zabano, who's got more pace than most people in the league, has drifted out wide, and he's cut it back to Mathers, who tees it to Mikey Focus. He loves a first-time shot, does Mikey. He scored a great one in the last game with uh, on his left peg, and he unlucky not to score there. Early proceedings for Barrow. Piranen on the ball here, moving it forward casually. Now fizzes it inside to Mathers, who's a little bit more advanced today than normal. He plays it. Oh, my God, that's a lovely ball to Zabana. What a goal! I generally thought he was offside, but that ball from Marshall Matters is amazing. Na 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 na. A little bit more advanced today, and I didn't think he'd spot the pass. I thought he was offside, but Zabana, I mean, he has been a sensational signing for us. The other great signing I could make would be for a bloody hairband, because it's all over my face at the moment. But that's a brilliant start. One nil. The Zabana goal train continues. Just can't let them have a near post shot. They've given the ball away, but so is Mikey. That's not good for me. Mikey Focus gets caught on the edge of the box, did a dithering on it. It's my fault, and uh, it's 1-1 before you know it. It's a bit annoying. It's a great finish, to be fair, but I knew the minute he was going through that that was going in the back of the net. I didn't really realise I had it, and I was trying to shield it out, and it was a stupid thing. I should have just cleared it, but it caught me a little bit by surprise. I'm a little bit rusty. 1-1. One, one. Oh, dear. See what I mean? It's like we're winning games, but they're not very comfortable, it's safe to say. To Barna, mm, can't quite keep the control there. He's, he's good when he's running onto the ball, but he's not brilliant in tight spaces, is, Cabana, is uh, Zabana. Oh, Zabana's done brilliantly to charge that down. He drifts inside. Zabana finds Wayne. Wayne tees it. Oh, I should have just hit it. I should have just hit it. I thought I saw Marshall Matters running in. I thought he was going to get there. Now they're on the attack. This could turn out to be a really big missed opportunity for me. I had men over. I had a three-on-one in that box, and I mucked it up. But fortunately, they mucked it up too. But I'm a little bit little bit rusty, it's safe to say. This is really well worked, though. We've worked it brilliantly out. I can see Zabana. Is he on? I hope so. It's a great finish. I think he's on side. Oof. That must be... So close. The timing of the run then is sensational. The timing of the pass as well from Wayne is excellent. I think I might be giving a little bit of a reprieve here. I was certain he was offside. We'll see here. Maybe not actually. That's a brilliantly timed run. 
And a sensational finish by Zabana. Left foot, right foot, doesn't matter with him at the moment. That's nine goals in the EFL League too. He's catching up with Wayne. And this is worrying. They're moving forward nicely here. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got the wrong man. It changed the player. It changed my defender. I had the guy next to McAtee and it changed my defender. You can see what I'm doing here. You can see that I'm like sort of moving back to like jockey with him. And it just changed my defender twice in the space of a few seconds. Look, I had him. Then he starts moving back. It just mo changed my defender. Gutting. John McAtee scores completely against the run of play. For God's sake. There was no need to change the player there. I feel a little bit done. I'm not happy about that, I have to say. That goal, I mean, the, in all fairness, I don't get me wrong, we didn't exactly hammer them in the first half, but we were easily the better team. And then for that to happen is just making me think this might not be our day. Oh, I could have released Zabana there. I've delayed it with Wayne. But we got a little play in here. Zabana, one touch, hits it. Just soon, it's a hat-trick for Zabana. What a player he is at the moment. He's absolutely zabana them. I don't know if that can become a verb. Could it be a verb? To Zabana is to destroy. Lovely player by Jenky Wanky. I just waited and he loves that drill finish into the far corner. It's very OP this year and I'm making the most of it. Alan Zabana. Possibly the best bargain in FIFA history. Apart from Myron Boadu. Is he the League 2 Myron? That's a lovely reference. If you haven't watched my Watford save, go and watch that and watch me with Myron Boadu. Unplayable. Lovely interception there by Tom McIntyre. Now, come on, if we can just get a fourth and po polish this game off, I'll be delighted. Wayne's picked out Reese on the far side. Reese takes one touch, hits it across the goal. <laughs> Zabana, ball to Mikey. Mikey to Nutler. He's done well to keep his run on side. Nutler picks out Wayne. What a block. What a block that is. I'd, je I'd already put my hands up to celebrate. Wayne on the ball. Plays it back out to Nutler. Go on, mate. Decent ball like last time. Nutler skins him. Tees it back to Jenky Wenky. One touch. Oh, for God's sake. I mean, this is worrying. This is a 5v3 five five here. This would have to be some... That's offside, surely. Oh, brilliant play by the goalkeeper and by Kalama. Kalama does brilliantly there. I mean, I'm a, we got maybe got away with one with Zabana in the first half, but I think that's definitely offside. Wayne's playing playmaker today as he finds Nutler again. Can we finally get a good ball? Wayne! Reese on the ball, driving forward now. Reese to Lafferty. It's a good ball to Callum Gribbin. We know he's got a good left peg. Oh, what a save. Come on, give it a rest. Kalama on the ball. Not really the man I want to have on it, if I'm honest. I need you back in the defence. He's found a brilliant ball to Gribbin, who shifts it to Nutler. Back to North. Back to Gribbin. I've, I've just got to find that gap. Kyle Lafferty. Oh, Kyle Lafferty, for God's sake, please. He's still not scored for us yet, and that was a perfect opportunity. And if, they can see, if we can see from this, I'm not going to be pleased. I followed the run well there. They've hit it over the top. Donald Turan is on the ball. Nutler's knackered. He's not going to have it. Don't you dare do this. Don't do this. Come on, Nutler. Well done, mate. That's ours. How is that theirs? We've overcome a lot of adversity there. I don't feel a lot of things in the game roll for us and went the right way, but I'll take that. A 3-2 win. Get in. Big, big result. Zabana takes home the match ball. I don't think there's any question who man on the match is either, is there, really? Can't believe it. It should have been more. I was a little bit profligate at the, in the final third. I should have done a little bit better, but we'll have to go with it. What you need to know is that is six wins on the bounce now for Barrow, and we go into our final game of the day in pretty good nick up against Mansfield again at home. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a good win in this one as well, and it will carry us even further towards the top of the league. We're keeping pace at the moment. Uh, there were... Oh, Salford did drop points, so now we're only four points behind. You can see how tight it is there. Remember, the top three... Uh, automatically go up in this division and then they're for was it fourth till seventh are all in the playoffs at the moment we're currently sat in the playoff position but i do fancy that we should be able to get ourselves towards the top you can tell there mansfield down in 20th this is a game really we shouldn't slip up in uh, i hope that you guys don't mind the way that i'm sort of setting up the episodes by playing a few games off camera and giving you like the kind of little best highlights bits it's just because obviously it's a really long save it's the best way to try and get through just to try and get through as many as we can so we can keep the pace of it really going. I don't want to be spending 20 episodes a season 
playing in like League Two. Do you know what I mean? I want to get through it relatively quickly if I can help it. Um, that's going to be more fun for when we get to the big leagues, if that makes any sense. And of course, if you are enjoying this series, then please do remember to drop a like on it, share and subscribe if you're new, uh, and hopefully we'll have a good game and I'll we'll treat you to some more goals against Mansfield. I hope. Also, if we can get the early goal, it's important for us to take the lead. Once we take the lead, I feel that we're nearly always in charge of the game, obvious, as obvious as that sounds. But we're very good at picking people off and controlling a game. I'm not very good when I'm having to chase it because the players aren't necessarily the best in the league. So we don't naturally just have the talent just to wander through players. But that's a good ball to Wayne. Oh, nearly. That looked like a handball. Derek and Lee, they're talking about the title race. I have to say, for a while, I didn't think we would be part of it at all. But it just goes to show that when you put a decent run of form together in this league and in these lower leagues, you can catch up pretty quickly. It was just the fact that we never looked like we were going to do that. That was the worrying thing. Jinky Winky into Mikey Focus. He's found the ball to Wayne. Wayne with a great run. Wayne, oh, for God's sake. The mustachioed man cannot get the goal he deserves today. Look at it. It's the best facial hair you'll ever see. Great first touch to take it away from the defender, and he hits it. Maybe not quite in the corner, but it's a decent save. Tom McIntyre's done brilliantly here. He's pushed them all the way back there. And Zabana hits it. Oh, it was meant to be a tackle, but Zabana there. I'm worried that the goalie's having a bit of a blinder to start with. I'm going to whip it in a little bit further out. Tom McIntyre heads it. Oh, it's a great... That's a pass back. But a lovely, lovely take by Kalama. Well done, mate. He feeds it inside to Marshall Mathers. Ball. Right, here we go. Zabana. This is where the magic happens. Get Zabana on the ball. He plays in Wayne. Wayne's away from his man this time. Wayne. Get in. The Tash scores again. Him and Zabana are linking up very well now. Developing a nice partnership in the uh, up front. And Zabana finds him. F great first touch. Takes it away from his man to keep it away from the defender. And bangs it into the back of the net. Love it. Well done, Wayne. Still showing he's the main man, really. 11 goals to Zabana's 10. It's good and competitive up there. And I think it's safe to say now we are in a much better place. And I can tell that I might have to up the, I might have to up the difficulty to ultimate soon. Because it's just, oh, I just needed to get into a little run of form to make the games competitive. And Mansfield having a little period of, dump, of possession here. But haven't really done anything with it when they've come forward. But... I mean, this is when it annoys me. I can sense the goals coming because suddenly they just inject a little bit of pace into the play. But Tom McIntyre stands firm. Lovely play there. I mean, that's annoying. Jenky Winky didn't win that, even though I definitely had the ball. I'm sensing a little bit of nonsense here. But Tom McIntyre does brilliantly to win the ball back. And we just get the ball out. What is that? That was meant to be to Marshall Mathers. Don't score. Oh my god, the goalie saved a near post shot. I never thought I'd see the day. Oh, what am I doing? Sometimes I've just got to clear it, but they're really, really hammering the pressure on here at the end of the half for Mansu, and I'm glad the halftime whistle's gone. I was a little bit all over the gaff there. I was just passing out when I shouldn't be. I should just be trying to clear it. A bit, a bit stupid for me there, and we're a bit lucky it's only 1 0. Jenky Wenky now, drifting out to the left-hand side, trying to take on Clark. He's going to try and just do him for pace, but he's just going to cut it back. Play a nice ball, and that's good play by Jenky. Tabana waits for Wayne. I love that channel. That channel is always open. You drive into the middle. One of the central defenders comes out. The channel opens up. The defender doesn't know where he's coming or going. Wayne doesn't even need to take a touch. He smashes it past the goalkeeper. The tash is on. Zabana to Wayne. Wayne to Zabana. They love it. They love playing with each other. Low play there by Mikey Focus. And Marshall Mathis has turned in brilliantly. What a ball. Oh! If I did it a bit harder, then Reese was in there. Just needed to be a tad harder from Mathis. He's had a very good episode today. Making it tick. That's annoying. 2-1. Hmm. That's insanely frustrating from Ollie Clark, who bends it in. That's annoying. 2-1, a little against the run of play, but as usual, can't keep that clean sheet. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, well play, Kilama. Kilama's done brilliantly there. I think he actually gets a touch of the ball. I don't really know where I'm going with Lillis here. Wayne's given the ball away in a terrible position there, and if we do concede from this, it's going to be very harsh on him. But Kilama... Has been absolutely brilliant in this second half. Wayne out to Zabani. He's going to get there first. 
Alan. Oh, great turn. Sabana, it's a brilliant save. Maybe I could have squared it back, but after such a brilliant turn on the ball, I wanted to get him a goal. Pyrenees missed the header, and I'm in trouble here. I just need that third. I don't trust the defence, which sounds horrible, but it's true. Zabana, great strength from Zabana there to hold him up. I mean, this is going to be a wonderful goal if it goes in. Wayne, tease it. Please finish. What a goal. Oh, you are kidding me. How has the goalie saved that? It's literally three yards out. Wayne's got the ball back. The way he's orchestrated the play today has been sensational. James, tease it. Hardcastle, great save again by the goalie. He's had an absolutely sensational game. Oh, we're just hitting shots off like you wouldn't believe, but they can't get through that defence. It doesn't matter. We've won the game. That's all I care about. 2-1, seventh win in a row, but we've been made to work really hard in these games. Just a little lack of finishing and a bit of a worldie from the keeper there. He made eight saves, their goalkeeper, so obviously had a very good game indeed. So there you go, another win. Unfortunately, it doesn't see us rise any higher in the table. I don't even know if we've gained any points. I don't think we have. Uh, no, we're still four points beyond, but you can tell there's a little bit of a gap developing between us and the teams outside of the playoffs. 20 games in, that record now is so much better. It's unreal, and we're beginning to get a little bit more in terms of the goal difference. I believe we are the league's top goal scorers, but I think we've also conceded more than anyone else in the league, which is never a good thing. And we have. I've just checked. We've conceded more than anybody else in the league, which is never a good sign. You're never going to win anything if you can't keep a clean sheet. Uh, next time out, then, I probably will do what I've been doing before. I'll play a few games off the camera including the Port Vale game uh, and then oh my god we've got a really really hectic December and there's some useless cup games that I'm not particularly that bothered about uh, but what we'll do then is I'll probably come back maybe for the Bradford, Carlisle and Bolton games potentially so we might be able to finish off December together I hope that that will be okay uh, I'll let you know how we get on in the cup runs in the meantime and obviously where we stand in the league but thank you so much for watching this episode of my FIFA 21 Barra career mode I hope that you have enjoyed it sorry again for the kind of quick pace of it and not that much in the way of live commentary but I'm thinking one or two games an episode along with a lot of highlights packages and just letting you know how you get on it's quite a nice way to do it if you are enjoying that sort of setup then do let me know um and also while we're there because i've won seven in a row now should i up the difficulty to ultimate let me know what you think down in the comment section let me know what you think of the series thank you so much for watching please do remember to like share and subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've seen until i see you again take care of yourselves and stay cool bye